welcome YouTubers and Doctor Who fanatics to another video on TG Productions and it's a Doctor Who update video. In this video I'm going to be discussing about Power of the Daleks, stuff is on the missing episodes which I do want to bring up and the ultimate showcase, the plan for this big video I have coming out November 27th. I know a lot of people are excited for this video, it's going to be not only the big video for 2016, but the biggest video of all time. But yeah, I'll be talking about Power of the Darks first, because tomorrow, it is the 50th anniversary of this great snazzy story. And again, it's so wonderful it is being animated. It's the second best thing that can happen. And something which is missing. Again, it's not the real deal, but it's still brilliant nonetheless. And yeah, tomorrow, the 5th of November, I'll be listening to this for a final time. I've listened to the audio countless times. To celebrate power, I'm going to listen to the audio for a final time. And then, that's it. Not going to listen to it again because we've got the DVD now. But yes, I will be re-reviewing Power the Daleks absolutely. I know I've reviewed it in the past, which was like December 2015. But yeah, have to review it because I do want to support the animation. because And to show my appreciation that this story is, in fact, being animated all of it six parts which is so much dedication and you know, it's, just, it's nice to see that after the absolute terrible situation which happened with the underwater menace I mean, it disgusts me what happened with the underwater menace but that's finished now we've got power of the daleks animation to be excited about and it's nice to show that they have put a lot of care and effort in it yeah for some very interesting stuff on power of the daleks there will be in fact a colour version of the story. You can get this from the BBC store like late November or you can get it from the Blu-ray release which is coming out February 2017. But I will tell you this, it will not be on the DVD release. Now what about me? What do I personally think about how the Daleks a colour version of the story? Well, doesn't personally interest me I would say actually. Because black and white TV, I've loved it for so long experienced it at a young age and I have so much fascination with old TV, black and white TV and to colorize it, even if it's animation, does lose the immersion of the story I would say. Colorizing a black and white Doctor Who story doesn't really work for me but it's an additional feature which is good. I can still see a good thing about this color version, it's quite experimental to um, colorize a black and white story from the 60s but for someone like me it would just lose the immersion because I love black and white television so much so, you know, that's my personal reason, but I can still see a good thing out of it. It's something just experimental to do and something interesting to do. So it's a nice feature, doesn't personally interest me. Anyway, that's stuff on the Power of the Daleks. I'm going to talk a little bit about missing episodes. There's a very wonderful video I watched quite recently. It was discussing about the recent finds, like the Avengers Tunnel of Fear. Talked about that Z Cars episode, I can't remember the name of. If you just like missing episodes generally, then definitely check out this video. It's just a, a wonderful video, and I love watching videos like that, talking about old films and whatnot, because again, I'm so fascinated with old films and whatnot. But um, there's something definitely interesting and exciting within that video, and the BBC didn't cut it out, they didn't. So they're trying to forward you somewhere, but they're not telling you they're doing that you know, tactic they are, where they want to tease you but they're not telling you. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean it's Doctor Who, so I won't be fully optimistic because you have to think there is so much missing TV out there. It doesn't necessarily mean it's Doctor Who. Yeah, it's when this person was talking about leads to missing BBC material and the interviewer tried to um, make him say of what material was and uh, the person said he wasn't allowed to reveal. He couldn't say what it is. We, we have a, a couple of leads uh, that were given to us by a, a third party of um, uh, a few episodes that are known to be missing from uh, the BBC archive. Um, which you can't say of what? No, I can't. And the BBC, they didn't cut that out or anything like that. They left it in. So, you know, that's definitely teasing something. And that's official that is and that was broadcast publicly so they're definitely hinting at something there's been some other you know interesting stuff coming around like doctor who online teasing they did a tweet they did on twitter where they were showing production codes uh people are definitely wrong when they're saying it's grammatical errors it's far too coincidental to be grammatical errors it was definitely done intentionally and 
It was either confirmed to be intentionally done. Yeah, Doctor Who Online deliberately did that tweet they did. But we don't know if it's just a tease or a troll, but I have my own reason of what it could be. I think they're just trying to grow the missing episode discussion up. That's why I think they did that tweet. You know, missing episodes a few months before, stone dead quiet. It's, it's been dead, the discussion. But since recoveries are coming up, I think Doctor Who Online are just trying to grow up the missing episode discussion up more. That's my reason of why they did the tweet, just to grow the discussion. I don't think they're teasing that, you know, they did production codes on Marco Polo and the Wheel in Space. I don't think they were deliberately teasing that Marco Polo and the Wheel in Space are found. I think it's just a tactic to grow the discussion, the missing episode discussion. You know, I'm not thinking far too optimistic in it. I'm not being pessimistic to say there's grammatical errors. I'm just thinking in the middle, and they're just trying to grow the discussion. And as well, like quite a recent interview with Philip Morris, that was definitely pretty interesting and intriguing. And this apparent November announcement coming up with Missing TV. Again, we don't know if it's happening or not, but there's stuff going on behind the scenes. I definitely know that. But what it is, what's going to be recovered, what's going to be announced, if the announcement is even going to take place, when, we don't know. We just have to wait and see. I'm going to play this correctly and everyone else should play it like this, just stay in the middle and wait. Don't be too pessimistic and say, oh they have nothing, and don't be too optimistic and say, oh they got loads of Doctor Who, like all of Marco Polo, all Wheel in Space, all Dark's Master Plan, don't be like that, just stay in the middle, just wait. I'm still happy nonetheless that they've recovered the Avengers Tunnel of Fear, I'm absolutely buzzing about that, that is just incredible. Because originally, it was only thought that two episodes from season one and two existed from the Avengers. The Frighteners and another episode I can't remember the name of. How embarrassing. But yeah, it's so lovely to have Tunnel of Fear. Incredible. And as well, that episode of Softly Softly, Z Cars. Other shows as well which has been recovered. Quite a lot of stuff has been recovered recently. Nothing Doctor Who related, but other beloved programs. It's fantastic. It's lovely to see this stuff be recovered because the amount of TV lost, old TV, it's so depressing. And since I have so much love for old TV, it sucks it does how much is gone. But again, it's so wonderful to see stuff recovered. It's like the best thing ever. Again, there will be a video I've been talking about, link in the description. It's a fantastic video. And also talked about the fact that a lot of people have missing material but they never get out of their hands they just keep it and say no I'm having it all they ask for are just a stupid amount of money you know thousands of pounds for this missing material you know people get very greedy again it sucks because technically when it's like that it's lost if they don't hand it over yes yeah, some brilliant things are happening behind the scenes with missing content just have to wait and see how it happens how it plays out yeah, that's uh, some stuff on the missing episodes. Now we're going to be talking about the ultimate showcase for the final topic. I know a lot of people have been buzzing about it. And now I'm going to be discussing the rundown of how this video is going to work. How I'm going to structure it. Because I put it in sections I have just to organise it all. If I didn't do that, it'd be really sloppy. Away. So since it's so big, this showcase video, I'm gonna, I have to structure it now just to make it look uh, presentable when I upload it. Again, if some people don't know what this Ultimate Showcase thing, I uh, confirmed about four months ago, I would say, yeah, somewhere around there, that I'm going to be doing a very big, ambitious video called the Ultimate Showcase, which is going to be the biggest Doctor Who collection update on YouTube. That's what I've been trying to target, and I've definitely hit it. It's not only absolutely huge, this collection update that I've built, but the amount of rare items I've got in this is just unbelievable. And in such a small amount of time, I've got so much of it. And as well, quite a lot of it, all the rare stuff I've got for such good prices. I have been quite clever with teasing this I have. I've done some really sneaky hints in some of my videos I have. I don't think anyone's noticed them though. I think one person did notice one, but that was a ballet. Again, they were really well hidden. I just thought it was quite fun to put them in there, but clearly no one 
pointed them out way down. Yes, as I said, for the rundown, it's going to be separated into different sections and there's four sections all together. Section one will be the big finish and the books. I'm not going to put any of the rare items. There are rare items in this section, but nothing crazy, you know, crazy with rarity. There's going to be rare items in it, but not crazy rare ones. So yeah, section one is going to be a big finish and books. Again, if it's someone I could improve on this, is that I would add more big finish because books have seriously taken over. There is so much Doctor Who books. It's uh, If I said a number, you probably wouldn't believe me. Actually, to be honest, I don't know the exact number of books, but there is a flipping lot of books in this showcase video. My book collection makes my big finish collection look small, really small now, especially with the rare stuff now. It makes it tiny. But yeah, first section is Big Finish and Books. I'll do the Big Finish things first and then I'll go for the Doctor Who books. Again, it's going to be different ranges like the Virgin books, BBC books and whatnot. Going through all of them, I'll confirm all the different type of books I've got. I'll just leave it until the video is uploaded. But that's what that section is going to be focusing on. Then we come to section two, which is going to be the bundles. See, this section will consist of bundles, book bundles, I have got from eBay. And these are such good bundles, I have found some of the rarest of two books in these bundles and I've got it for an incredible price. Yeah, some of the hardest of two books to get are in these bundles, so, you know, these extremely rare books are not just that, like at the end of the showcase, there's even some in the bundle section. Yes, yeah, section three was originally going to be the final section, this is where I unbox extremely rare of two books. And right now, I'll just check my document, I have 13 confirmed for this section. And to be honest, I don't need any more. I'm fine. This section was completed ages ago, it was. I know there's some other rare books coming, which I would, you know, appear in, which I do want. But I would rather focus on building up the bundle section, I would say. You know, proving that a little bit more, so. I've definitely got enough for section 3, 13 Doctor Who books and these books are with extreme rarity, I mean very high rarity. As I said, this was originally going to be in the final section but I wanted to pull something off extremely big at the end and it looks like I have achieved that. Unfortunately, I messed up unboxing 12 because I deleted the original footage so that's the only one where I don't unbox anything, I just reveal it. So. I was being a complete idiot there where I, where I removed the original footage accidentally so you know I don't really unbox anything in Unboxing 12 which is actually the penultimate unboxing. Anyway you can guess if you want to what Doctor Who rare books I have in the Ultimate Showcase. Again I've had a few you know guesses floating about like uh, Soval Sin and I can see why it's popped up because I've been on a mission to hunt that damn book. I'm not saying it's not in the Ultimate Showcase now, but it will not be in Section 3 because it's not rare enough. It's uh, not rare enough to be in that section. It'll make that book will just look nothing compared to the other ones. So I just uh, decided if I do get it, it will not be in that section. Again, you don't know if I have it or not, but I, I think pretty much everyone has come up with the idea that I have so far, I'll say, just have to wait and see if I have it or not. But I will tell you this, it's been a huge pain in the ass, that book. It's been the biggest pain in the ass out of all Doctor Who books. Again, if I have it or now, is another question. Anyway, I just looked for my list. Uh, unboxing one, definitely a nice start. And again, the other ones are just overshadowed, I would say. Second one as well, the second unboxing, was that, that was actually the first Doctor Who book I got for the final section. And that was way back in... Um, June I think that book yeah somewhere around there that was the first one I got I'm very happy I have got it but again the other books definitely overshadow them and then the, the third book that's definitely quite interesting and the fourth book that's um I was gonna build up some you know talk saying oh you lucky son of a bitch Tom definitely gonna get some comments with that Doctor Who book because it, well it's a very well known Doctor Who book we would say uh, the fifth one, definitely going to make some discussion. Uh, the sixth, seventh, and eighth unboxing, that's definitely going to bring up something, especially unboxing eight. I think that's my. If I'm going to guess which unboxing is going to make the most, like, holy shit, Tom, how did you get this Doctor Who book? Or I'm going to rob you, Tom. If 
Probably gonna get those sort of comments. That is definitely gonna make the most discussion, that one, unboxing number eight. Because out of all these books, that's the only Doctor Who book I thought I would never get. But yeah, I actually did. Yeah, unboxing eight is definitely gonna make some discussion. And as well, unboxing six and seven, as I said. Unboxing nine, which is the most valuable Doctor Who book out of all of them. Again, I put it really in rarity order, but that one is the most valuable Doctor Who book. Again, didn't think I would get it because it goes with so much bloody money. Unboxing 10 is certainly the most interesting unboxing because, oh, I can't say it, but you know, when I show it, you, you see what I mean. It's definitely gonna be unique, we would say, that one. Unboxing 11, again, certainly interesting. Unboxing 12, that's the one where I screwed up by removing the original footage. And again, that's a bit annoying, but again, I didn't think I was gonna get this book at all, but still, wow, incredible. And then the final unboxing. Just bloody insane that I hunt this down because the, because the probability of hunting it down 0.1% pretty much. It's crazy that I've even got it. Anyway, that's definitely a nice end for Section 3. That was originally going to be the end of the Ultimate Showcase, that Doctor Who book. But I said to myself, revealing a Doctor Who book at the end of the Ultimate Showcase is... Yeah, it won't really deliver, I thought, personally to myself. I think other people would say, oh, it would be fine. But to me... Wouldn't really work because by there you can you can probably tell I'm making Doctor Who books so damn easy to get. And to be honest, I'll be truthful. I'm finding rare Doctor Who book hunting quite easy now. It's not a challenge, and I wish it was still a challenge because it's quite fun. Again, so far simply a pain in the bloody ass, but yeah, it's definitely been a, more easier when I've started this plan for the Ultimate Showcase. It's been very easy to get these books. So I thought to myself, since they've been very easy for me, I need to do another section. I need to do something big within this section to go up a level in Doctor Who collecting. Because I said, books, too easy now. I need to go up to the next level of Doctor Who collecting. Yeah, even though I said rare Doctor Who book collecting for me is quite easy now, there is a few where, again, if I have them, there's another question. But, you know, books within my head, I... I think to myself, no, they're definitely going to be extremely difficult. These are the rarest books of all time, they are. And that would be the Eye of the Tiger Anniversary Edition, limited to 40 copies. Bloody insane to get, and it would go for a lot of money. The most money, you know, I've seen it go for like 500 quid, like in July, which is nuts. The Specialist Collector's Edition of Cyberman, limited to 75 copies. A book called Glory of the Daleks, that's limited to 80 copies. Again, finding that now is pretty much impossible. There's a Doctor Who book from the 60s, it's a William Hartnell book. I've forgotten the name of it though, so sorry about that. And the Early Years Hardback. Deluxe Hardback, limited to 200. They are the rarest books you can ever get. They are the top five. Absolutely. And as well, the Christmas Invasion, Doctor Who Target book, but that's an unofficial book, so I don't really count it, but those five books, they are the top five books. They are the top five rarest Doctor Who books you can ever get your hands on. There's nothing rarer than them. And some of the really valuable Doctor Who books, like um, the Celebration, Deluxe Hardback, or the Key to Time, or the Autumn Invasion, where people pull it for ludicrous amount of money. Yeah, you know what I'm referencing. And Cave Monsters as well. I won't lie to you, they they're definitely are difficult. But those five, definitely the top dogs. Down below in the comments, you can guess what I have. I've had a few things come up right now. People think I have, well, Savar Sims come up. The Invasion from Space, that book has come up. 1971 Annuals come up. The Auton Invasion hardbacks come up. Well, that's a surprise because it's the rarest hardback. Target hardback, of course, that's come up. Yeah, the most I've had is Sovar Sin and the Auton Invasion Hardback. I have to wait and see if I have those ones. So yeah, that's uh, Section 3. Now to the final section. Section 4 is to simply called the finale. Now since Section 2 and Section 3 are all about the Doctor Who books, Section 4 
there may not be any Doctor Who books. I'm not going to say that there is or isn't, but there are definitely stuff in this section which are not about Doctor Who books. So this, you know, taking a rather equivocal direction with this one, I'm not saying what it is. Again, books may be in this section, you just have to wait and see. Yes, in this finale section, there are three parts. Three different parts to this finale section. It could be two, because one of them, you know, there's problems coming up and I may not get it, so... And I'll be ashamed if I can't, so... And if I don't, oh well, I just have to confirm it, what it was in the video, but... You know... Pretty much 50% confirmed that I've got it. I'm 50 50 on it. We have to have to wait and see what happens. Again, I've kept this rather quiet. This has taken a lot of time to get this certain thing, item, items, whatever it is, to me. This could be something very exciting or it could be something absolutely huge. It can. Again, I can't really reveal what it is. I can't really say how big this certain thing is going to be until I get them, until I see them. That's, um, that's it really. It's not guaranteed when I'll get it, so... Just have to wait and see on that. But yeah, if that doesn't happen, then it'll just be the two. And one of them, so much value on the item. Huge amount of value. And it's a lovely piece of history that I've got. Again, I'm not gonna say what it is. And the last one, this is just something which works in this finale section. Not sure what to really say about it without really giving it away, but that's all I'm gonna say. And that's it. After that, it's finished. Again, it'd be lovely to get that third thing confirmed. It could be something pretty huge, but I need to see it and look at it myself. For one thing, I don't know how long the video is gonna be, but I have divided it in sections for a number of reasons, and a reason I haven't said, you can have breaks of each section, because I'm not going to think people are gonna watch this video all in one go. Well, if you want to, that's your choice, but you can have a break with each section, so that's another nice way of dividing it. Because I know not everyone's going to watch this video all in one go. I wasn't expecting people to watch Sin Thespians all in one go. Because that's a very long review. It's my longest review I've ever done. But yes, anyway. Thanks for watching this update video. Interesting stuff with Power of the Daleks, with the colorization. Doesn't personally interest me, but I'm looking forward to the release. Missing episodes. It's getting good. It's definitely getting good. And definitely check out our video and as well the ultimate showcase. I've discussed the plans, it's something very big coming up on the channel and I hope everyone enjoys it when it's released because I definitely want to do something big and challenging here. Do the biggest, the most ambitious and the snazziest Dog 2 collection update of all time. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one which will be a big finish related video. Which will be tomorrow probably. So thanks for watching and of course have a good one.